Hi, I'm Courtney and welcome to my channel. This is the Anchorage by McDonald Jones Homes. This home is an incredible five bedrooms, three and a half bathroom, two car design on a stunning corner block in the Bower Estate. Make sure you stick around all the way till the end though to see this full house tour. And don't forget to head down below and hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell too. All right, let me take you through it now. The entryway of this home is really spectacular. With over two meters of width, it allows you plenty of room to add a beautiful front entry feature like this table with mirror above and plenty of room to still walk by. As you head down the hallway, on the left hand side, you'll find the door to access your two car garage. And a feature to define the entry from the rest of the hall is this square set opening. To the left, you'll find the home theater. This is located nice and out of the way from all the bedrooms so you can listen to movies really loud with a cool sound system and enjoy the full experience away from anyone that's sleeping. The highlight window through here also allows lots of natural light to come into that entry hallway, making it a beautiful light bright space. Plenty of room for a big couch and built-in cabinetry and they've opted for the Lin One feature for doors here so that you can close off the space but that natural light can still come through the glass. Now at the end of the hallway, you have the option to go left or right, and I'm gonna start you in the home office, which is also set up in this instance as a gym. This is a really versatile space with some gym equipment here on display, but also a home office setup. You can really use it how you like. It does have this bifold door in the display home too, flowing onto the separate alfresco area for the master suite and I will show you through this master suite in a little while. But it's great if you do work from home because you have that direct access into your master as well. Again, a beautiful big window which really highlights this stunning corner lot that we're on. You can see all the gardens around. Across the entry hallway, we then enter towards the front of the home into the children's retreat. This area has a full study nook, again with a cutout on this side to allow the natural light to go into that entry hallway. Opposite this, you've got a children's activity space. And then up the hallway again towards the front of the home, a full bathroom with a bath, large vanity, shower, and separate powder room opposite this as well. This powder room has its own vanity and toilet in there for guests. Just next to that, you've got the full walk-in linen, plenty of storage, conveniently located right next to all the bedrooms. The first bedroom that we're gonna enter right at the front of the home here is one of the children's bedrooms. And as you can see in this design, its size and space is really, really plentiful. You can see the size of this big queen bed, bedside tables, and still plenty of room to walk around. Every room, of course, has their built-in robes, and they've opted for the frosted glass finish on this one. The next room is again located at the front of the home and the benefit to this is that they both have big windows letting all that natural light in. This one has been styled with a desk in here to show that you've still got plenty of space even with that configuration. Again, queen size bed, bedside tables, and like I said, this beautiful big window at the front. I love the fittings with the curtains they've popped in here, which really diffuses that natural light. The wardrobe, Huge amount of storage for the kids in here for their clothes, which hopefully means a less messy room. Walking back down this hallway, we'll enter into that children's activity room space again. Off this space, you've then got the third of the children's bedrooms. 
style with a queen bed, two bedside tables, and again with the built-in wardrobes. As you can see, even this bedroom being the smallest of all three of the kids' bedrooms, it is still massive in size, measuring 3.8 by 3.6 meters. The front bedroom itself as well in depth is 4.2, so every space in this home is even more enlarged than that of a regular design. Moving down the second corridor, you then come across this square set opening, entering into this master suite. Now, I do have to preface this, it is incredible. This master suite is nothing short of epic. With the California king bed on display and two bedside tables against this freestanding wall, you can enter from either side into the master suite's walk-in robe. With wall-to-wall -wall cabinetry against this rear wall, there is a lot of storage in this home. You've got direct access from your master bedroom out onto the courtyard space if you do choose to add this into the design. It serves as a great area to read a book or relax and on this corner lot it's stunning with the gardens across the side of the home. This again does access back into that home office space or the gym depending on how you want to set this front room up. Directly opposite the bed, you've got a square set opening that frames the freestanding bath and wall that is concealing the shower behind. They have opted to pop the glass panel in as a window between the bathroom and shower. Shower shelf running wall to wall, so plenty of storage. And they've opted for two rain shower heads above. The sleek water drain as well gives this ensuite and shower space a really clean finish. This big picture window at the end of the space again brings more natural light into the ensuite, making it the perfect location to do your makeup in the morning with all the natural light pouring in. They have got the separate his and her vanities on either side of the room, so there's no need to share counter space if you didn't want to either. Lastly, concealed over the other side of this ensuite is the toilet in its own separate room. Let me take you down the hall again now to the guest quarters. Every little bit of space is used in this home with the additional linen cupboard right here next to the master suite. And they've opted to pop on display the wine cellar option here as well. This is something that you can add into the home after the handover. Opposite that, we then have the guest suite. Measuring 4.1 by 3.6 in size. Again, another very generous room. On display, queen beds throughout, bedside tables again, and enough space at the end of the bed for an ottoman. You've got another built-in wardrobe and an external window letting natural light into the space. Direct access from this room too to its own ensuite with shower, vanity, and toilet. This is a Jack and Jill bathroom with the two entrances, one from the bedroom and one from the hall, so it can be used by other guests as well. You've then got next to that your broom cupboard, which is really deep and generous in size, allowing you to store bigger, bulkier items in the space. Now, I'm sure you're dying to see the living space in this home, and just like the master suite, it is nothing short of epic. Entering into a massive, expansive space right at the back of the home here, this is a true entertainer's delight. You've got a living area with a nook here for your TV and a space for cabinetry or a TV unit below. On display with two large couches and some occasional chairs as well, there's a great space here to gather with family and friends. But since it is such an open span area, you can really entertain a huge number of guests all at the same time.
With the bifold door option on display, it really does open up the space to connect the indoors and the outdoors. Another setting out here to hang out with family and friends and opposite this, they've placed a dining table, which is a six seater, but you could put something much larger without any problems. Connecting back indoors, you've got the formal dining table here, which is an eight seater. And again, so much room and space around it that you could go even larger if you wanted to. I love how they've defined the space of the feature light above as well. And now the real heart of the home, this kitchen, which any chef would be proud to cook in. A massive island with undermounted twin sinks and I love the feature of the white tapware. And there's straight run of kitchen cabinetry along the side here. Now in classic McDonald Jones style, there's no awkward corner cupboards and they've even opted to do drawers along this entire side to make it really practical that there's no bending down and rummaging through drawers. On display here, you've got this full kitchen, but hidden behind this space as well, you've got even more prep area. And I love the option they've gone for along here. You've got the option here with three wall towers that you can pop any appliances in your wish. If you want plate warmers, built-in coffee machines, you've got so many options. And along from this, you may not have even noticed, but we've got the integrated fridge, which looks so sleek and doesn't feel like an eyesore at the space. Following on from this, we've then got all your pantry storage here. A nice window at the end of the hall, letting more natural light into this space as well. We then enter into the butler's pantry space with both storage on the left and the right sides and a backsplash window bringing natural light into this space too. That backsplash window carries then through to the laundry slash mudroom, allowing natural light to flow into the home and a double sliding door across the back of the home, bringing natural light in from the other direction. The laundry and mudroom is located right at the back of the home here with direct external access through your sliding door. And I love the built-in cabinetry they've opted for in the display home, giving you a spot to pop your washer and your dryer underneath and leaving room for storage above. If you like this display home tour and want to see more videos just like it, I'll link to my full series up above for you now and down below in the description box. This display home is now closed, so if you do have questions about it, leave me a comment down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell too. I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.